So we're going to start with a little bit of what I'm going to simply call verbal fun. And we're going to begin to teach your dog a word that means spin counterclockwise and a word that means spin clockwise. Okay? Lots of different applications for it. Eventually, I will use it if I needed to, let's say, I need to call my dog past the plane of this jump and I want him to go to the back and turn away from me. There's a spin, a turn counterclockwise. Okay? So my dog's word for counterclockwise is spin. Makes no difference what it is. Pick a word, but have it in your mind that that word means counterclockwise. If I have my dog over here and I want to call him past the plane and have him turn away from me, there's a clockwise spin. So I'm going to use a different word that means clockwise. I'm going to use the word twirl. And again, doesn't make any difference what your words are. You just have to keep them straight in your mind. Okay, I can do my demo without my dog and then when I get my dog back I'll re-demo with the dog. They will not know the words yet. So what you are going to do is say the word and immediately lure them. So if I had scandal here I would say spin, lure. Spin, lure. Spin, lure. And reward of course. What's going to happen, just like what we talked about with your verbal release in your crate games, is your dog is going to begin hearing that word and they're going to anticipate that spin. Okay? If you don't pay attention to your mechanics, if you lure and then say the word, it's going to take you a lot longer if your dog ever gets it. Because, in my mind, all they're doing is following a lure. Their mind is thinking about the toy or the food, whatever you're using as your lure. And they're not actively thinking, what do I need to do to get that? So the mechanics, it's going to be, my toy is going to be still, and it's going to be spin, then move. Spin, then move. 